checkered maps. Let's go up to our uh, material editor. In my material editor, I'm going to go into my second sample slot. In my second sample slot, I'm going to go down to diffuse. I'm going to pick on my mapping button to the right of the diffuse color swash. I'm going to come over into my maps and I'm going to choose checker. And I'll say OK. And you can see I have a black and white checker here. I could change the colors down here. So I can just pick on my colors. I can pick on how big my tiling is and what angle it is, etc. And you can see I have a, a sample up here when I right click and go to magnify. You can see that I have that on a sphere. If I want to change to see what it looks like on my sample type here, I can go to this is what it'll look like on a box, for example. And so what is this going to look like? Well, let's select the object. I got a box down here. I select it. And I'm going to come over here and say assign material to the selection. So it says, all right, the material uh, already exists in the scene. What do you want to do? I'll say uh, replace it. And I'll say, OK. So I replaced it. And now I want to turn on my show, my shaded material and viewport. And now I replaced both boxes with the checkered map. All right. So, um, so right now I have both boxes on there uh, being the checker. And if I come down into my mapping and I change my color and I change it to say red, boom, instantly it automatically updates. So my checkers uh, automatically update and I can change any settings of my tiling that I need to down in this area, uh, the sizes, uh, the angle, etc. And uh, so checkered is a combination of two colors and uh, I can replace the colors with images actually. So I could come down here and I can pick on none and I could come up here and say bitmap and I could put a bitmap then and I could pick this bitmap and I could alter this now bitmapping and uh, so now I can come along and say okay show the particular bitmap so now I can pick on one of them and say assign it and it'll update that and let's do this let's create another box here and I'll come back to my tool editor and I'm going to drag it on there and now I'm going to do a render and I'll render the view and you can see in the render my bitmap shows up on every other one it doesn't show up in my viewport it shows up in my rendering so um, so now you can see how the mapping works I can put different materials in this checkerboard etc so that I get the look and feel I want in each of the checkerboard tiles.